for subscribing to my channel nature island vegan youtube channel when you subscribe to my channel please do not forget to hit the notification bell when you hit the notification bell you will know when i post a youtube video so please don't forget when you subscribe to hit the notification bell i will appreciate that very much that will help my subscription numbers go up so today i am going to do a tofu cut fish i don't want to say cut fish but um it will taste like codfish a tofu that will taste exactly the same like codfish the reason why i said that i made it already with aki instead of i did aki and saltfish aki and tofu tasting codfish it came out great another thing again guys please control your salt please control your sugar always check with your doctor try to live healthy as possible if you can if you can do your best to try to lose weight do that if you can try to make your body feel pain free as possible and always check with your doctor all right and here i have my ingredients it's a very small amount of ingredients is really needed the nourish sheets is very important because that is what that's going to give the tofu codfish flavor I'm using a West Indian fish seasoning it's great it works out pretty pretty well and the tofu use half of this onion scallion and scotch bannet not quite I will say you don't really have to put them together that is what West Indians will call kalaloo or spinach all right so this one is pre-cut already my wife grew that in our back garden and then we save them we cut them because during the winter we cannot grow anything so we always have our own kalaloo on hand all right freshly grown in our backyard the nori sheets i use two and a half sheets of nori and that seaweed nori will give the tofu the fishy taste to it and there's a lot like raw fish so once we saute it in the pan you will know what i'm talking about ice our stove get it heat up to the temperature that we want add the olive oil or the oil of your choice the kalaloo or the spinach is optional i am doing mine today with with the kalaloo or spinach so this i'm going to put last in there so i'm going to show you how to do the tofu flavored codfish add one two three tablespoons of olive oil add your onions in there now however you choose to call it spring onions green onions you're going to add half of it in there for now you can smell that aroma already so once the tofu, once the onion is started to get soft and looking a little translucent, to add your tofu. You can add more of your oil in there, a tablespoon at a time. You do not want to put too much oil and make it oily. You don't want that. So you put your oil as you need as you see it's fit so for in the beginning you start with three tablespoons and later on you can add more if you need more the reason why you start with three once you add it you cannot take off the oil from there if you find your nourish sheets is not enough 
I will recommend you do more because the first one I did, I did four nourish sheets to the tofu. But because I am low, <laughs> because I'm running low on nourish sheets, I decide to do two and a half. And you add your nourish sheets in there now. Another one. It's not too late to put it. To add your nutritional yeast, you're gonna put half of in your tofu and your nourish sheets. The other tablespoon you will put it with the with the kalalu or the spinach in the end. The scotch bonnet pepper. You can use any of the seasoning to your liking very very salty fish seasoning put it to taste thing about tofu it absorbs your liquids very quickly especially when you drain it off once you add the kalalu spinach the green The whole process should not take more than half an hour from beginning to end cutting up all your onions and your peppers and scallion and preparing it in all so it should not take you more than 30 minutes to get that prepared all right add the other tablespoon of our nutritional yeast the other breast of the green onion, scythe, whatever you choose to call it. Turn this off for now. So we're going to do, or I am going to do the taste test of my first time making the Kalalu cutfish bird tofu. And it tastes like when you put your crawfish to soak overnight and then you end up boiling it twice and remove all the salt but it still tastes like crawfish without the salt that's the best reference I can give you and plus I have locally made kapo tea though the story is not about the kapo tea but excellent gotta try to make this one very short as possible <laughs> it's real nice I should use a better word than nice It, delicious it tastes real delicious and it will pass all right because when you look at prices of codfish and other commodities going up right now you could get tofu and get your nourish sheets your peppers and all that and you could make it for less than half quarter of the price of the codfish and you could get something similar to the codfish not the codfish but similar to the codfish with the taste not too much of the texture because it did not dry because if you dry the tofu 
in the oven, which will take a longer process, then you have a texture like codfish. Being I did not dry it in the oven, you're gonna find it has, you know, the, the, it's a little tougher than an egg texture. It's a little tougher than an egg texture. But that's the closest reference I can give you. So it's in between a codfish and, a, and a, a fry egg texture. Not scramble, fry egg texture. The whole wheat bread is complimentary of my wife. She made it herself. Maybe one day she will do a vegan type for you. So we could post on there. Mm. I won't be eating the whole thing on the camera, but what I'll do, I'll eat this now and enjoy the rest later. <laughs> 